My name is Gideon Weiss. I'm Deputy General Manager for the Air and C4ISR Division of Rafael. Uh, Rafael is an Israeli defense company. And here in Paris, we are showing this week a few innovations uh, that are really uh, new technologies that we're bringing into the battle space. The first one here is our lightning pod, the brother of uh, the Reykjavik pod. And with the advanced electro-optics that we have, we're showing a new capability that incorporates synthetic aperture radar. So we call it Lightning Plus SAR. It takes the regular pod with a new electronics that we put in right here and an antenna that enables a starboard scanning of the entire arena. This enables pilots to uh, be able to execute their mission while operating above clouds and in severe weather. This new technology enables pilots to carry out their mission using the EOIR that has multiple sensors that can use all of them together, integrate all of these sensors together with the synthetic aperture radar. This means that when operating above clouds and in severe weather, in many cases the pilots will not be able to see the targets with the EOIR sensors and then they will be able to use their uh, synthetic aperture radar sensor and as you can see it's completely conformal and it's the same configuration to fly on the airplane. This makes this pod multi-mission capable and it provides not only that capability and operational but also a very cost-effective solution for the Air Forces. So in the air-to-surface domain we're introducing a new capability to the SPICE 250, which is a member of the SPICE family. SPICE 250 now has what we call Automatic Target Recognition, ATR, which is very advanced in the sense that now pilots can launch multiple weapons towards a convoy or an area saturated with targets, and each and every weapon will individually be able to autonomously track and recognize its target and select that target until it hits it. The SPICE 250 ATR is based on artificial intelligence and deep learning capabilities. There is now a new feature to the SPICE family. In the tactical missiles domain, Rafael is presenting the entire family of SPIKE, from SPIKE ENLOS, SPIKE ER2, SPIKE LR2, and SPIKE SR. And as you can see, these missiles have different ranges. The maximum ranges varies if you shoot them from the ground or from the helicopters. Here at the Paris Air Show we're showing a helicopter simulator in which uh, users can come in and actually see what is the effect and the tactical capability of all of the spike missiles that they can shoot in theater. While in flight the operator is capable of retargeting, tracking a moving target, retargeting to another target, and refining the aim point over the target. The operator can actually abort the mission until the last moment. In this case, it's a bingo. In the world of communications, Rafael is presenting the BNET system, which is an airborne and ground communication system, not only for voice, but also for data and targeting. The system enables a very wide mesh of networks that can enable uh, users both in the air as well as on the ground to work with one another and communicate in voice and data and video streaming. The system is based on software-defined radio, so Rafael is adding another layer that is a patented multi-channel receiver technology which enables hundreds of users to join together and be able to work with one another in the battlefield, in the maneuvering battlefield. What we're, we're presenting in Paris is the, both the airborne here, the vehicular, handheld, and how they all mesh together. These are actual working and functioning systems that are now working and talking to one another. And we're presenting videos that are coming from cameras that look outside, cameras that recorded data from actual drills, and situational awareness that this system can bring together with hundreds of users at one time. In the world of air defense, Rafael is presenting the Iron Dome, the iDome, which is the mobile Iron Dome, and the Sky Scepter system. Iron Dome is combat proven, 
has more than 2,000 successful interceptions, protecting Israel at a rate of more than 90%, which is phenomenal for an air defense system. Once put, putting that on a mobile system, iDome can protect maneuvering forces, and that is a new combat-proven system uh, to be put to use for the maneuvering forces. Sky Scepter is a new uh, emerging interceptor that can be integrated into other weapon systems such as the Patriot. An important addition to the air defense capability is the drone protection system. Rafael is presenting the drone dome system, comprising of a radar for detecting the system, electro-optic systems to both detect and track the drones, as well as electronic warfare systems to be able to disable these. The new addition, when the operator sees the threat, they can use a laser, which is part of the electro-optic system. That laser will then burn out and make enough damage on the drone to be able to put it down. And there's an example here of a drone that was put down in a test. When applying the drone dome system for mobile and maneuvering forces, it may be applied on a vehicle like this to become mobile drone dome. That's enabling protecting and providing mobile solution for these forces.